Well, hello there, my friends. I am Bro D of Healthy Living with Bro D, and thank you for joining me today. Welcome to another this week's shopping haul. I um, just got back in, and I quickly wanted to come on to do the little intro before we started looking at what I got. Uh, I am currently using the Nutri Check app to track my calories every day, trying to lose what I've regained from my goal weight. Um, it's probably between I don't know seven and twelve pounds depending how far down I want to go and so um, yeah that's it if you have not subscribed yet please give it a consideration it helps my channel out and if you enjoy the video today please give it a thumbs up I'm probably not going to come back on the end of the video so I will say goodbye to you now and thank you very much for having watched and now let me turn you around so you can see what I got this week don't mind the cat scratching at the door there's always something, someone doing something in here when I'm making a video. Anyway, let's turn around now. Quickly showing you here because I don't have very much. I did need to pick up some distilled water for our um, dehumidifier. So they were $1.49 each and I got four. And then I picked up some of this Boar's Head uh, roasted chicken breast. It was $12.99, $2 off per pound. I still think that's really expensive, but it's Boar's Head. So for $4.87, I have about a third of a pound of chicken breast, which I like to make roll-ups with. So this is good for a snack for me, or even a sandwich. So that does it for this little trip to Stop and Shop. I stopped into Hannaford this week because they had chicken cutlet on sale, and I happen to like their brand. It does not have anything added to it, and they're usually very lean and not full of water. So these were $1.99 a pound, and this pack was $9.85. I also picked up a few cans of green beans because they were only 64 cents a can. And I picked up two cans of whole kernel corn because I didn't have any in the cabinet. And those were 98 cents a piece, pardon me. I'll have to give you the total here for this because I, didn't, I don't have the receipt to refer to at this moment. This is what I got at Walmart this week. I will start on this end. I have a five pound bag of King Arthur whole wheat flour for $5.58. I have a package of 12 bars of Kellogg's Protein Bars, and that was $11.54. And then I have a container of Oikos Protein Yogurt for $5.98. A container of fat-free cottage cheese for $2.58. I have Sargento Ultra Thin Swiss Cheese Slices for $3.18. This is a 6.84 ounce pack. Then I, I've not tried mocha coffee, so since there wasn't anything else of interest to me this week, I thought I'd give this a try. So this is two, um, sorry, two ninety eight for the twelve ounce bag, and then we have my Velveeta shreds, the cheddar uh, style, for two fifty eight for the pack of eight ounces, and these are for gem, honey, not oats. Well, this is the knockoff of. I guess honey, nut and honey. I don't know what they're called. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you probably know better than me. If you want to let me know in comments, off the top of my head right now, I'm not remembering, but this pack was two, $2.97, and it is 21.6 ounces. Then I have, in preparation for the holidays, I'll be doing some chocolate molding and uh, cookie dipping. So I picked up three of these chocolate almond mar bark because they do run out. And they don't go bad, so three forty-seven a pack. And then I found this brand of my half sour pickles, and I thought I'd give them a try. It's the same size container as I get in the other brand, but um, two dollars cheaper. So we'll see. They'll either be authentic or they won't. I'll know that really fast with one bite. Then I got another pack of the Hillshire Farm Ultra Thin Sliced Pastrami, four dollars and fifty cents. And then I bought this. I have not had one of these in a very long time. I planned on drinking it in the car, and I ended up not drinking it in the car. This was uh, one of the Pure Leaf Diet Peach, and this is a what? Sorry, I have a glare there. 18 and a half fluid ounce bottle for $1.24. And that is all I got at Walmart for this week. Again, keep in mind that I did not show you last week's shopping. On Sunday, I did place a big order for delivery. So this week, I didn't need as much. So that does it for Walmart. I picked up a couple things at Sam's Club this week. Let me let you know first, though, that my total for Walmart 
This week was $57.62. So let's get started here with uh, my little Sam's Club. A few things that I picked up. Okay, so this I'll bring here. This is something new. It's called uh, Sunshine All-Purpose Seasoning Ginger, Garlic, Pineapple, and Mango, and it's salt-free. It was $7.98 for this bottle. And then I got my Mrs. Dash, with, which is, you all know by now how much I love Mrs. Dash. And this was $7.48. And then I picked up um, a 22-ounce package of rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. That was $8.94. And I did go in there specifically for Driscoll strawberries. I, I was really enjoying um, my strawberries until I wasn't because I couldn't get Driscoll's. So I know they have them there and I have been, haven't been there in a while, so I stopped in. $6.98 for the 32 ounce container. And these look pretty nice, so I hope I'm gonna enjoy them. Um, they are brought to New York from California, I believe. And what is missing from here, I'm gonna pop on the screen quick. I have a package of baby uh, Swiss cheese for $7.86. And I have a two count of iceberg lettuce for $2.28. The reason they're not here for you to see in the video um, with the rest of these items is because I had opened them already. So in total at Sam's Club, my expenditure was, let's see if I can get it. I can't, it's out of focus. $41.52 for this week. And that does it for the grocery shopping. I have two other things to show you and then we'll be done. Okay, I got myself a brand new Curtis Stone soup maker for $30 from Facebook Marketplace. Someone local to my area had this and wanted to sell it, it is brand new. And I'm looking very forward to trying it. I've never had one before and Beth, please, I know that I swore I was never going to buy one of these because I know I don't need it. But, and you know, Beth, how I am. I say I'm never going to do something and then I turn around and I do it. Anyway, I just wanted to share it with you because it was a really good find, even though I think you can get it from Walmart for like 60 and change. I'm not quite sure on that. Uh, I did try to look it up to see for the price, but all the rest, like on Amazon, are like 130 and more. So uh, I think this will do me fine for the amount of times I'll use it per year. And I am looking forward to trying it. If you have any good recipes and you want to share, you people in the UK who seem to love using these, please share away. I would love to um, get some good recipes for using this. Next up is the biggest surprise of all. Yes, yes, yes. I finally got the Pro 600 KitchenAid. And the only reason that I got it is because Terry told me that at BJ's they had it half price for $300, which is unheard of. You cannot get this brand new in a box from a store for $300. We've not ever seen it, so she bought one, and then next day I went and got one. I do have the four and a half quart, which is about, I don't know, 30 years old now, and I do have the five and a half quart. But this one will do me really, really well for Christmas baking, especially for my Struffoli dough. So I'm looking forward to trying it, and I could not resist buying it for $300. Plus, I get 5% back in rewards on my BJ's account because I have the Capital One card. So um, it's, it's that's good. I'm real happy. So yes, this is my surprise for myself. I don't know how surprised you are to see this, but I was surprised to find it and very excited to be able to get it. So that does it for this week's shopping haul. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope to see you again real soon in the next video that I make. Take care now and please be well, my friends. Bye-bye.